good morning. We are here at the Holiday Inn in Somerville, Boston, Bunker Hill, with Marianne Dalton. She is the ex Assistant Executive Director of the Somerville Cambridge Elder Services. Marianne, almost 20 years of doing this. Tell us about how you think this has evolved from the world of um, just providing basic healthcare information to all the multiple vendors you have here this morning. Sure, well, Somerville Cambridge Elder Services, um, our, our goal is to help older people remain in their homes and to help them sort of maximize their quality of life in the community. Um, so we feel that one of the most important ways that people can do that is by having basic information about what their um, options are in the community. So we've brought together all these different vendors who can help older people maximize their independence, whether it be transportation vendors, uh, uh, personal care providers, uh, you know, uh, in-home services, and, and, and as we've um, grown and changed this event over the years, we've realized that we want to provide information about personal wellness. So we have yoga, tai chi information, information that people can use to empower themselves so they can remain independent and healthy and really enjoy and, um, and thrive in their um, older years. I work for a company called Houseworks. We provide private pay home care. We provide 24 hour service livings. We provide two to three hours, whatever people need to help age in place. I've been coming to these fairs for the last couple of years, uh, gathering quite a bit of information as to probably where I may end up my last years, and also getting to know and uh, meet a lot of different seniors. And what's uh, the favorite part about coming here, besides all the goodies that you get in your swag bag? Uh, the people that I meet, like Joel, and the camera person, and some of the representatives. That the VNA from Lowell, they were good for me when I had my cancer, and they were super. And uh, I just like coming and meeting Joe, not just as a neighbor. <laughs> and I've retired. But I still work as an ombudsman, a uh, volunteer ombudsman, with Somerville Cambridge Elder Services. And that means I go to nursing homes to talk to residents and staff about issues that I can help resolve. And I work most of my career in healthcare, specifically in hospice and palliative care. And that meant looking after people as they aged. I love coming to this fair because this is where the people come who want to get information. today to offer uh, oral reading, uh, but basically to introduce our practice, which is um, uh, for developing awareness of the brain and how to feel the body. Uh, so especially for seniors, it's really great uh, Tai Chi uh, we offer, but how to bring the energy into the lower body and feel your feet and understand uh, how to uh, shift your weight left side and right side and then how to feel a sense of uh, release and relief in the body. One of the other things that we've discussed a lot with them is um, security. Um, identity theft, a lot of them were concerned about that. Um, so we gave him a few little tips and we have brochures to give them on, on identity theft and how to keep their identity safe. You know, someone said that their pocketbook had been stolen and now they were concerned about that. So we sit down with them even at the bank and we'll go over that with them and teach them, you know, how to keep their, their changing passwords and pin numbers on ATMs and stuff like that. We provide, for the PACE program, we provide all health and health-related services. And for many folks, they don't have to pay anything for any of the services. We ha we're team-driven, and we see people right through to the end of their lives. There isn't anything they could possibly need with respect to health care that we could not provide. We're here with Paul Hollings, the new executive director of Somerville Cambridge Elder Services. What is the one thing that you're hearing these days about what seniors need? 
Well, in Somerville and Cambridge, the biggest challenge right now is housing. Um, and also uh, behavioral health support. So those are really the two toughest uh, needs to meet, the two greatest unmet needs. We're trying to figure out how can we support people in those areas.